Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing your general love reading. Okay, we're going to be looking into the energy of your person, you know, just to see how they feel about you and this connection. Okay, if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can look at my description box down below. It'll tell you everything that you need, okay? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, what can you tell me about Capricorn's person? What can you tell me about them? How are they feeling? You know, about this connection? And my Capricorns. What can you tell me about Capricorn's person, Spirit? Okay, so we have the four of pentacles. Okay, so this could this is your energy because this is um, earth energy. Okay, or for some of you guys, it could be dealing with another earth sign. Okay, um, but with this four of pentacles card, it's telling me that someone is not trying to let this connection go. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let this connection go. Okay, um, they simply just want. They don't want to walk away, okay? The Four of Pentacles, it's like this person is holding on for dear life for you and this connection, okay? For some of you guys, you could have dealt with someone who's very selfish, okay? When it comes to their money, all right? Let me see what else we have. Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like your person... Okay, this is for some of you. I feel like someone here had a lot of success, right? Had a lot of wealth, had a lot of finances. Like, someone's finances was very high and very, you know, good. But it had fell apart with this Five of Pentacles. Now someone lost their finances. Someone lost being financially stable. Okay, this is for some of y'all, not all of y'all. Okay, but this is what I'm getting from Spirit. Okay, but if that's not the case, um, with the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting that your person does feel left out in a cold from you. All right, it's like they need your attention. They need you to chase them. They need you... Um, They just want you to give your energy towards them. Okay, for some of y'all, I'm getting this energy, Capricorn, that you guys are just focusing on you. You guys could be hanging out with a lot of people, okay? You guys could just be partying and stuff. You're not really worried about this person. You're not chasing them. You're not thinking of them. But they are thinking of you, and they want your attention. They don't want you to be around other people without them like this is a possessive type of person that i'm getting here okay yeah i feel like this is someone who's very controlling all right someone here is really controlling over you very possessive all right this could be an aries who you're dealing with who's very possessive and controlling they don't want you to leave them they don't want you to walk away they don't want you to talk to other people okay they feel like you're theirs and you're theirs only like you can't speak to anyone like this is crazy capricorn like this person doesn't want you talking to anyone but them okay they don't want to let you go they don't want you to walk away from them okay we have the six of wands aries leo or sagittarius energy okay so i see that your person wants victory with you they want they want you know to spend time with you okay for some of you guys, your person could be watching you, okay? Some of y'all could be in the public eye, all right? And I feel like this person has been keeping an eye on you. Like, they've been watching you win. This person has been watching you succeed, Capricorn, okay? You guys, you know, could be, like I said, getting a lot of attention from other people. Like, I feel like your person feels left out. They feel left out because they're not getting the same attention that you're getting okay they're not winning they're not succeeding in life the same way that you are succeeding in life 
they're not getting money the same way you're getting money in life, okay? And this is why they are feeling a little bit insecure and they're, they feel like they have to control you and they have to be possessive over you because they, they don't have what you have, okay? We have the Six of Pentacles, all right? So I definitely see like there was some type of financial... Um, um, there was something financially wrong in this connection. All right. Um, and I just see that your person is just trying to figure out, like, they're, like, really in shock, Capricorn, for how, like, how amazing you're doing. Like, this person is watching you literally win, watching you literally on your throne succeeding. And they're just, like, so in shock about like how you're able to do this okay um because they didn't they probably didn't think that this that you were ever going to get this far in life so they're like really in shock about you like how you're able to be so successful okay and get all of this attention by people okay um let's see what else we have we have the moon card yes yeah, so i see that your person is like really you know they have a lot of anxiety a lot of fears because you are successful okay like your success makes them scared your success you you know achieving yourself you being independent you working on you you're not chasing them it's giving them a lot of anxiety and a lot of fears okay they're trying to figure out like how am i going to get my capricorn back how what can i do to get their attention because I feel left out in a cold from them and I want their attention. What can I do to make it work? You know, so it's like this person is really thinking about this connection. Okay. Yeah, because look, they feel defeated. This person didn't. Okay. Capricorn, your person never, they would have never thought that you would just get this far in life. Okay. They feel defeated. This person feels highly defeated. I feel like. Um, Capricorn, they thought like the, the grass was greener on the other side. Okay. I feel like this person always blamed you. They always looked at you as someone who was never going to get to where you're at. You're always going to be poor. You're always not going to get to, you know, your success, but you did. Okay. You leveled up on this person. They didn't think that this was going to happen. Now they feel defeated. You won and they lost. All right, and now they're they're so shook about this. They're shook and they're in so much shock about you just doing you, okay? We have the Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So I see that, look, the Four of Cups is telling me that your person, um, it's like they feel like if they was to come towards you, if they was to confront you about something, if they was to come, you know, even next to you, you wouldn't even accept them. You wouldn't. You would completely reject their offer. You would completely say no to them. Okay, but I see that this person is wanting to build something. They want to have something long term, something stable. Okay. Um, I feel like also this person may want to move in with you. They want to live with you, Capricorn. Yeah, and they want to work on this connection. This person is watching you literally work so hard. Like, I feel like some of you, Capricorn, you guys are very wealthy, okay? You guys have a lot of money. Like, you guys are so luxurious. And this person is watching you. And they feel like they can't, have, they can't stand up to that. You know, you're way out of their league. They can't stand up to that, okay? And with the judgment card, they want a second chance. This person is wanting to forgive. They want to work this with you. They want um, a second chance in this connection. And they hope that you can um, accept their offer, okay? So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's reading, guys. If it resonated with you, feel free to like this video and comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Um... And if you want to book a personal reading with me, you can look at my description box down below. It'll tell you everything that you need. Okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.